Now let's talk for a moment about the book of Revelation. I want to illustrate a point. Uh, I can virtually do this without turning through the book. So let me just do it. I can see the whole book in my mind without opening the Bible. I can virtually, vir virtually the entire book. Uh, the book opens, and I want to show you how it hops back and forth, boop, 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 chapter to chapter and within chapters. I want to try to illustrate it quickly. You won't possibly be able to keep up with me. I'll go slow enough that you can stay with me, but part of the goal is to go fast so you see how just raging complicated it is, if I can use that term. So the book opens with a prophet telling God's servants what's going to happen speedily. And then it leaps ahead right through the first kingdom in the third verse to the time, which is the day of the Lord. And it stays there through the chapter. And at the end of the chapter, it goes backwards to the beginning of this first kingdom and starts telling all of the, the, the eras what they need to understand and should have been studying for 2,000 years. That's two and three. Four and five now leap straight back to the day of the Lord and starts talking about who can open the seals. Six, they're opened. Seven, after the seals, uh, is, is, is a break where certain groups are protected. They stand, uh, they stand as the innumerable multitude of the 144,000, and eight and nine continue with the seven trumpet plagues. Ten goes backwards to the front of the first kingdom again and has Elijah arriving. And then in the middle of the chapter goes backward again to the last parts of his life. Then leaps ahead again to where he's prophesying again, eating the book and measuring the temple. Then chapter 11 leaps ahead three and a half years to the middle of the seven year kingdom and describes this beast. And then at the end of chapter 11, it leaps backwards to the second woe backwards three and a half years again, and then backwards a little bit before that to before there were any woes. Then chapter 12 hops around, and at the end of chapter 12, it's leaping back to a group fleeing to Petra. Chapter 13 explodes three and a half years ahead again in the middle of the seven years to the beast again, Chapter 14 shoots backwards again to the 144,000 being, being uh, uh, sealed and the seventh trumpet plague. 15 shoots seven years ahead to the seven last plagues and 16, 17, 18, and 19 pretty much stay there too. 20 then introduces the millennium. And in a few verses, leaps a thousand years ahead to a little season when it's over and then shoots to the end of the little season, gives you uh, the, the great white throne judgment, then rockets backwards 1,007 years and the first kingdom goes, goes all the way back rather to the second kingdom. Um, and you have the new heavens and the new earth and new Jerusalem and the, and the river coming. And the book of Revelation closes with that, with God and Christ describing themselves as coming quickly. Now, that's not the way anybody reads it. 